There we go. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, son. That one is fighting. Today, we're fishing. Oh. And then, for peacock bass. We promised you we were gonna do fresh water and salt water. Well, here's some fresh water. This peacock was so crazy, he snagged himself in the side. <laughs> Anyhow, let me tell you, it's a, it's a nice peacock though. Nonetheless, check him out here. Look at that, big dude, went nuts. I wonder he's pulling so darn hard. Grab him here. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. These things are so much fun and they fight so hard. So today, we're gonna show you how to catch peacock bass. Well, there we go. Another one. Ah, that's a little sportier. This one actually ate it. There seems to be just tons. There, th this fishery here on the East Coast has just gone crazy for these guys. This. There we go, ate it right just about from under the boat. There we go, nice one. This is an opportunity we we're fortunate enough to have in Florida that they really don't have anywhere else except South America. Peacock bass, and they've really, really, really taken off again. After the freeze out and some other issues, we've got a lot of peacock bass. So if I get this guy in here, ah, he's sporty. Get the pliers for him. And uh, get him unhooked here. These guys crush. We're fishing twitch baits. These guys are kind of notorious for wanting to eat top water. Well, today, they don't want a thing to do with it. They just are all over these little twitch baits. Nice peacocks. Man, there's tons of them today. I don't know if it's just the day or whatever, but really nice, nice fish. We're gonna show you a lot of the different ways you can catch them, but primarily right now, they're eating twitch baits. Oop. There's one. <laughs> it's crazy how there's so many peacocks now, you have to catch a largemouth bass. And they are crazy, crazy for this uh, twitch bait today, which is a little bit different. This was actually a rip bait. I'll explain the difference. There is a, di a significant difference in how you fish them, but it can be really confusing to someone that isn't uh, a hardcore bass fisherman, for example. They'll call them stick baits, rip baits, you name it. But they do fish differently than uh, a twitch bait. There he is, nice little peacock. There seems to be, there's tons of these. So it's awesome. So we'll, I'll talk about twitch baits here versus rip baits, and I'll, meantime, I'll let this guy go. Here you go, pal. Today, the peacocks really wanted a rip bait. And as you can see in this graphic, rip baits are much longer and skinnier and have a small lip on the front and they're intended to fish quickly. So you pull it fast, rip, rip, then stop for just a second and then repeat. Uh, the twitch baits are of course much shorter, much more round and are intended to fish much slower to get that intended little wiggle and twitch out of them. So anyway, there are times when you have to change. Today was one of those days they wanted a fast moving bait. And had we not switched to a rip bait, we wouldn't have had the great day that we had. I hope this helps. Oh, another peacock, another peacock. Holy cow. Wow. They're fun, they're really sporty. There's a, they're, they come in like three different sizes. There's been a couple of fish you guys didn't see that we caught and one largemouth bass. So we're kind of getting the, uh, the multi-species freshwater palooza this morning. Lots of, and they're just jet black from the tannic acid in the water. It's fun, we'll go catch another one. See you buddy.
We go. So white water. <laughs> All right, another one. It was sporty. Wow, great, another peacock. This for me personally is most I ever caught in one day. So, uh, so some great fishing. We'll just put catching and catching. Here you go, buddy. There we go. Gee, a Mayan cichlid. Four species, four, count them four, here it comes. Ready for it? Mayan cichlid. People confuse these for uh, peacocks. And you can see why, they're, they're all related to the same family. And these guys are like a bluegill on steroids. This is a Mayan cichlid. People, I've had people confuse these when they've caught them in the Benita Springs, Fort Myers area, is that they were peacocks. You can see they kind of, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see their spots on the tail. They kind of look like a peacock. And they're orange on the belly, kind of like a peacock. But they're highly predatory in terms of eating fish. They're highly pecivorous. And they can clean out a pond of minnows in a heck of a hurry. But then they're, they do fight, and they fight good. But they've got a very small mouth, but it's full of teeth like a bass. And some sharper teeth. So... There he goes, we'll let him go. Come here, buddy. Boom, away he goes. Oh, we just tapped it. Didn't think there was even one on there. <laughs> oh, this one thinks he's a, a brute. <laughs> Come on, pal. Yeah, over here. Do I get another jump? One more jump? Oh, yeah. Had one more jump in them. Come on here. Over here. For their size, these fight way, lar way harder than a largemouth bass. Absolutely no question about it. A four or five pound peacock really fights. Even these little guys really fight. Crazy. There's another one. See, that <laughs> sporty little guy. He, he was a jumper. Yeah, you know, caught him on that uh, this little Yozuri twitch bait. They seem to be liking small lures today for whatever reason. But another really nice peacock. It's unbelievable to me that we can go all morning and catch one largemouth bass, and all the rest have been peacocks. It's awesome. <laughs> hey, let this guy go. You ready? You ready? Here you go. And there he goes. Awesome. Great.